Let's talk about materials. I'm Aga from Arvis Artist and in today's video I'll show you how to create photorealistic curtain material using Corona and V-Ray. Before you start creating a material in 3D, I suggest you to take a piece of the material and analyze it in real life. Let's take a look at this material and let's think about its characteristics. At first glance we can see that our curtain is not solid, because we can see through it a bit. Additionally, when we look at this straight, it is more transparent than we look at this from the angle. Next important thing is uh, transparency effect. The easiest way to understand how it works is to take your mobile phone, turn on the flashlight and cover it with your finger. Your finger is not transparent, but you still can see the light for it. You can observe the same effect even if your curtain is folded a couple of times. So you cannot see things behind it, but you still can see the light. Let's jump into 3ds Max to see how to recreate this model in the software. If you need a curtain model for testing, you can download mine. The link will be in the description. As you can see, I have a curtain model in the scene and a corona material applied to it. Let's start by adding a follow map. I will show you how it works. I will add it to the diffuse color slot first, so it's easier for you to understand. Let me change the colors to see it more clearly. The color is applied to the model based on the angle we look at it. If part of the model is perpendicular to a line between it and your eyes, the red color is applied. If it's parallel, the green color is used. We adjust it even more using the curve editor. Right click on the point to change the type to Bezier. Let's change the colors back to black and white. Now I will show you how opacity works in 3ds Max. I will add a checker map to make it easy to understand for you. Let's plug it to the diffuse slot and to the opacity slot. You can see that the white part of the map makes the model solid and the black parts make it fully transparent. Now let's plug the follow map to the opacity slot and see how it works. The effect is too strong. I will make black brighter and white darker to soften the effect. Let me change the diffuse color so you can see it better. We can also control the strength of the falloff map here. If I use value 0, the map won't work at all. If I use value 50, the map will be blend with the default opacity color. 50 looks good. I will change the color back to gray. Now, let me show you how transparency works inside the software. You can change the color and strength of this effect. I 
I will use white color and fraction 0 0.5. Looks awesome. We can add the texture to make it more realistic. Let me show you. Here I have a fabric texture. I have to add some contrast and make it grayscale. I will use a color correction map to do it. Next, let's mix it with our falloff map. Find Corona Mix texture and plug the new texture to the top slot and the bottom map to the second slot. Change the blending mode to soft light. Mix amount controls how the texture are mixed together. Value 0 will make the top slot invisible. Let's plug it all together to the opacity slot. I think the texture is too strong, so I will decrease the mix amount to 0.33. Now it looks great. We can reuse this texture again as a transfluency friction map. Let's plug it there and see how it looks. Here too, the effect is too strong, so let's lower the map strength to 20. Great! Now I will show you how to do this in V-Ray. We'll use the opacity map we used in Corema, as it works exactly the same. Let's plug it to the Viri Materials Opacity slot. To simulate transfluency in Viri, we will have to use Viri to decide that material. Drag and drop it to the Material Editor and plug to the front material slot. We'll control the transfluency here. You can change the color or add the texture. I will use white color and plug our texture to the transfluency texture slot. I will also make the texture less visible by lowering this value. And that's it. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.